Bush's president is asking the opposition to try to form a new government. It's like unlikely that would happen, though. Alexis Tsipras resigned as prime minister on Thursday and called early elections next month. His ruling Syriza party is facing a rebellion over Greece's bailout deal. That deal requires Athens to privatize some government assets. CCTV's Erin Zarkadoula takes a look at one half-joking suggestion that may get some serious attention. In the early days of the Greek debt crisis, the German politicians came up with a radical solution. Greece should sell off some of its inhabitant islands and property to pay back its creditors. Greeks fully stood. While selling off ancient monuments was never a serious idea, the privatization of state assets has always been an integral feature of Greece's international bailouts. Property selling for debt reduction has failed. From 2010 until now, we have collected 2.9 billion euros. Small island selling is not something new. Property lots of almost 3,000 small islands are private. In that way, I would not oppose it. Only 10% of the country's islands are privately inhabited, and it has been estimated that the government are holding between 1,200 and 6,000 islands, meaning there are a large number which could be pawned off to raise funds. However, the purchase of an island is not an easy issue. Islands are not that expensive than a car who ever went to build the house of the benefits, for example, from owner's friends who will visit him or from the marinas that will be built. But the problem is, for example, two to... Summer in a Greek island can be compared to paradise, and whoever affords it can buy their own private island. However, bureaucracy destroys investors' plans. Privatization remains a vital element of Greece's latest bailout deal. Under threat of being forced out of the Eurozone, Athens agreed to transfer valuable assets to an independent fund with the aim of raising 50 billion euros. Irini Zarkadoula, CCTV, Athens.